Hi guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to what I believe is part seven of World Adventures. So we are just checking the adventure board again. So we have two pieces of lapis lazuli to earn simoleons and ancient coins. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. That shouldn't be very difficult, especially when there's apparently two literally right here. So we're just going to come over here and if I can click on things, collect this and we'll collect this one. All right. Come back on over here to Miss Camden. But, um... If my voice sounds a little bit quiet or anything like that, I have been filming a lot today. So I started off with doing part four of Lepisy, and this is part seven. So as you guys can probably tell, I've been doing a lot of filming today. Um, and then I did like another little short video to just get it up and out of my channel. I think it was like three minutes, but... It's been a lot of talking today, and my vocal cords are quite aware of the fact because they're getting tired on me, but I just, I don't know, I'm enjoying filming so much that, like, I'm willing to risk the vocal cords thing. So, we're going to go ahead and just deliver these gems here. It's probably the best thing to do right now, just kind of hang out and film and just chill. But if my voice does go, that's why. I'm not sick or anything like that. It's literally just that I've been talking a lot today. Because, like, my parts are never as long as what I've been recording for because, like, I edit a lot of stuff out. So, it's been a lot of talking today, but... It'll be worth it because I'm having just a lot of fun with this. And I'm hoping that you guys are too. Because, like, I don't know. I'm just, it's a lot of fun. Um, World Adventures is probably one of my favorite packs. And my game is having a little bit of lag issues, as you guys can probably see. There we go. So we were having a little bit of lag, but that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and deliver whatever to this lady over here. Okay. Uh, deliver two pieces of mercury. These ones are so boring. I like the tomb ones because they make me think. And then you get like the mercury ones like this. And it's like, go and collect a gem here. Go and get this. Go and get that. And like, I get bored. Um, where did it say it was? Okay, come and get this. I'm assuming that's it. Um, it could also be this one, though, so we'll collect that one, too. And let her come on over here. And then, I was going to say, there was one not too far away from there. So then we'll come on over here and get this one. Which is in a nice, visible spot. Collect that. There we go. Okay. This is actually kind of a cute little area, but okay, we're going to come back on over here. Because she's doing whatever, okay, getting in her car. I was going to say, she's doing whatever it is that she's doing, that's what it was, getting in her car. So she's going to go ahead and collect whatever she needs to get. I think it was Mercury that it was asked for. So, she can go ahead and grab that stuff. Um, okay. So there's one, and then you can get whatever this is. I don't know what it is. And we actually just reached Visa Level 3, so we've now completed China, which is super exciting. That's actually, like, really exciting to me. I don't know why. So technically, I don't have to continue here if I didn't want to. But, I don't know if you guys have been watching since the beginning of this or not, but I do not have Pangu's Axe yet. And I am aiming to get Pangu's Axe. So I'm kind of just doing whatever I can to, uh, to like, get to that point. Um, I don't want to, like, run out of adventures or anything, which is why I pick up these, like, little side ones, so that it can, like, generate other ones, but I want to get to the point of getting a Pengu's Axe, because then I can continue on for other adventures. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it hasn't popped up already, if I'm honest with you guys, but I know that Pengu's Axe is a bit of a difficult quest overall, so, uh, deliver three red assassin bugs. 
Yeah, I mean, sure. I guess we can do that. That's not very exciting, but it can be done. Um, I do have a relics register right here, so I might actually sell some stuff because, like, she's got a lot of stuff in her inventory. It's kind of ridiculous just from, like, collecting. But she's also getting hungry, so I'm going to let her come and buy some food, and then we'll head on out to get some bugs. So apparently there's some over here. Can't say that I see them, though. Oh, there they are. Okay, so come and catch this. So that's one, and I think it said that we needed three. Mm, okay, so there's another one over here. I kind of have to wait for things to, like, load up so that I can, like, find them. Um, okay, there's two. And there's something else over here, too, so we'll get that. I kind of want to just go a bit quicker here. So I'm going to pick up some high quality dry food because I think we're running low on food. So we'll just do, I don't know, we'll just do 10 and then I'll also get 10 showers and a cans because we need those too. And that should be alright, I think that's everything. She was wanting to buy a board breaker thing. But I'm not going to have her do that because I just, I don't know. I don't see that as like, obviously she's into martial arts because of like that quest or whatever. But it doesn't seem that exciting to me to like have them at the house, you know. Um, and then apparently this is another one over here. Which I don't know if we can get to because of this big giant boulder. But it does look like we can, so we'll give that a try. Okay, so she's just going to go ahead and run around and collect these, hopefully. Because um, I don't know if these bugs, like, disappear or anything like that. So, I don't know. Um, okay, so why does it still say that we only have one out of three? She wants to eat stir fry, that's why I'm going to lock that in. But why does it say only one out of three? What happened to... Did they just, like, disappear? I don't know what just happened. But, um, we're gonna send her back over here to the market whenever she's done. So that she can get her stir fry. Okay. This is, like, a big, just, trail in the middle of nowhere. That's literally what it looks like. It's just one big trail in the middle of nowhere. Um, alright, so, we're just going to kind of hang out here a little bit and see what we can get done, but, uh, I have a feeling that by the time she gets up here, like, she's going to be super exhausted or something of that sort, or the bugs are going to disappear. Are you kidding? Okay, so we still are at only one out of three. I'm going to go ahead and skip until the morning. She wants to go back to base camp. Um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to pitch her tent and just call it a night. Because I just, I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem like the bugs are out anymore. So that's probably going to be my best option. Alright, so she has now collected every single bug. So we're going to go ahead and deliver these beetles. She has, like, some weird obsession with just randomly breaking into these songs. Which, like, I felt like it'd be a cool idea to have her, like, learn the songs as we go, you know? Just so that she, like, knows them. But at the same time, she just randomly breaks out into song. And, like, even when we're back in Sunset Valley, she's in the shower and she's singing them. Or she's in the bath and she's singing them. Like, it's just became, like, a complete obsession. And it's kind of funny. So, she's just going to go ahead and deliver these beetles over here to this person. Um, we are having a little bit of render, like it's a little bit like laggy on the rendering. But, my game seems to be running alright, so I don't think we're having any issues. Okay. Are we done with this yet? And then you can come over here and buy your food, because you want stir fry, so I'll let you have it. Uh, she is super tired, but it is pretty late at night again. Because, if I'm honest, I went to go and get another drink of water and left my game running. 
and so I kind of wasted a complete day without even realizing it and I didn't want to like exit out and like go back so wasn't doing that but we're gonna let her go ahead and buy her stir fry so that she can have her want completed um, this goes by alphabetical order I believe so I'm just gonna scroll away down here see what we can like I've got a bunch of like different recipes that I put in my game myself so if you guys are seeing like the holiday cookies that's why but uh, there's her stir fry it's 30 small ends. I'll let her have it there we go so I hope there is that want okay so we are back and now checking for adventures I had her come back to base camp for the night so we have mail so I'm gonna let her get that really quick and then we'll go ahead and check for some more adventures um, offer assistance for ancient coins. I'm not going to sit here and like read all of that stuff. It's like an aid of the monks. I don't believe this is the one for Pangu's axe yet either. But we're going to go ahead and just report in because it sounds kind of interesting just based off of the name of it. So we'll see. Okay, so she's just going to head on off to go and report in to whoever it is that we're supposed to be reporting into. And see what we can get done. Because like... I have so much fun at playing World Adventures. Like, I feel so productive every single time I'm doing something, even though it can sometimes be a little bit of, like, a brain teaser. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. So, okay. Enter the Temple of Heaven. Collect the artifact. All right, we can give it a try. So we're going to go ahead and collect this first, and then we'll go ahead and visit the Temple of Heaven. So I will skip until we're over there because I feel like that might take a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's just go with her. I was gonna say we can just skip, but I like watching the her car just kind of like drive around. I don't know. Um, I don't think I've ever done anything at the Temple of Heaven either, but I'm pretty sure maybe I have, because I feel like the Temple of Heaven is where um pengu's axe is but this i don't think this is the one for the quest to like actually get the axe so i don't know if there's two different areas in here but for some reason my mind's like hey that's where pengu's axe is but i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it without having the actual like quest for it okay so we're at the temple uh i'm going to let it load up here a little bit just because i'm at that point where like I gotta let stuff, okay. So I let things render, and there is a couple little areas. Um, so the, I found this one over here on the right-hand side that has a door. So I figured we'd come over here, because I figured that's probably gonna be the spot, and then it looks like we have a staircase to go downstairs. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and use these stairs over here. Okay, so there's some rubble over here, so come and clear this. But obviously that's not the door I need because of this thing over here is like literally screaming at me to put a keystone in. So I'm going to let her finish clearing off this rubble. Um, I, cause I want to see what's in through this door more so than anything. Okay. Um, okay. So there's a staircase. There's that weird like boulder over here that I can't do anything with until I get the axe other than like inspect it. Um, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, come and use the stairs. Can I do anything over here or am I like wasting my time? That's kind of like my main question. Um, okay. So there's a door, but I don't have the keystone. Okay, so that's not going to work. So we're going to come back up here and enter this keystone over here because I have that one. Alright, so we'll put this over here, which unlocks this door, so go through the door. Alright, and I don't think there's anything over here, so we're just going to go ahead and use the stairs to go down. Alright, so there's some beds down here, which is nice, so in case I have to have her like, stay the night. Um... So I see some chests in the bedrooms. There's some doors over here that look like they're locked. Uh, but there's this one here that I can go through. So we'll come and do that and then I'll get the chest after. Um, 
you can come and open this and open this. Okay. So it looks like there's a hole in the wall, so I'll let her inspect that. And that door doesn't look like I can go through it yet either, so obviously there's a trick to it somehow. But I'm just going to get this stuff here really quick. Um, take all. Okay. I can open this one. Okay, so we have some food, so we'll take that too. And then she's going to go ahead and inspect this. Which opens this door over here. Okay, go through here. Okay, so there's a dive well, so we'll go ahead and explore this. Okay. See what we can find in here. Okay, swim through the tunnel. Alright, so that takes me over here. So there's one over here that's like sparkling. So we're going to go ahead and inspect this. And I don't know how I didn't set off that trap, but apparently I didn't. Okay, so we got a relic. Um, is that it? Like, there's other holes, but I don't know if they do anything. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of play around with this a little bit. See what I can figure out, because I don't think I've ever done this before. This doesn't look familiar to me. Um, okay, but I have the treasure. So technically I've completed it by getting in here. Uh, no. So we're just going to go ahead and back in here and explore this. Go. Okay. So there is other places to like unlock in here, but I'm going to go ahead and just get her to deliver the treasure because, okay. So we're back, so we have to deliver two pieces of platinum and two pieces of lapis lazuli, which I think we've done something like this already. I'm going to let her just eat a morsel here really quick, but I'm pretty sure we've delivered these before, but if they're required again, they're required again, no big deal. So we have one over here, so you can come and get this. And... It looks like there's another one over here. It is kind of late at night, so it's kind of harder for me to, like, see them. But we'll just have her come and collect those two. Um, I think that's it for right now, but there is some more over here. Which might have been the easiest spot to go to get them, so maybe we'll just, like, click over here. There's something else over here, too. Okay, so go back over here to wherever she is. So it looks like we're running. Okay. Well, we're just going to kind of hang out and see what we can get done. But, like, honestly, I feel like for me filming so many um, world adventure parts today, my voice isn't doing too bad. But, like, my vocal cords, like, if you guys could feel, like, what they felt like right now, they're not having a fun time. Um, it's all right, though. Because this is probably going to be my last one for the night anyways. Because it is getting kind of late where I am now. It is currently 1.17 in the morning. So this is going to be my last part for the night. Which is fine by me. Because I'm still getting ahead on filming. Which is nice. Um, but she's going to go and collect this other piece of whatever metal it was that we needed. Honestly no idea what it was anymore. I want to say it was platinum. But then I also... Okay. So I went ahead and skipped, we went ahead and collected everything that we needed to get, and we're going to go ahead and check in with that person, wherever the heck they are, so that's what we're doing. Um, I felt like it was kind of getting boring just watching the collecting of metals and like doing all of that stuff, so I just figured I'd skip. Um, so it also says now to, we have a thing here that's baking the keystone. So we had to go to the ancient... Oh uh, no. We had to go to the meditation center. And then we had to visit the scholar garden. So that's what we're doing. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to it or not. Apparently there's not. But we did get, just get a little zen moodlet. So we're going to go ahead and deliver the heart. That was probably the stupidest adventure I've had yet. Just going and like visiting places. But then again I think there was another one that I had to visit like five places. In a past part that I did. And that was literally all there was to it. So, 
Some of the adventures are fairly easy, but I have a feeling this one's not going to be as easy as it seems. But maybe it is. I don't know. Um, enter the Temple of Heaven and find... Okay. So we're going to go ahead and head back over to the Temple of Heaven. Although we were literally just there. But, okay, so we are back at the temple. She's climbing the stairs, which we don't need to do. We know where to go by now. Um, I'm just kind of like skimming over this thing to see what it is that I'm supposed to be finding. So it says putting the key to use. Okay. And my game's being a little... Okay. So I got back down here. I don't think it's meant to be for this little area over here. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be back over here. That's my guess, at least, is I'm meant to be over here. Um, I'm going to have her come and go through this door. Because now I actually, like, can. Because I think in the last part, I don't know if I actually clicked on it or not. Or not in the last part, like, earlier in this part. I don't know if I clicked on it, but, like, we didn't go through here. So, we'll do that now. Okay. Um, looks like there is actually a hole in the wall in here, too. So, you can go ahead and inspect that. And then insert the keystone over here. Okay, so a hidden switch and activated it. Okay. Put this over here. Okay. So go through this door. Uh, it leads to another door, so go through here. Okay, so it looks like there's two areas over here. But now what do I do? And that's my question. What do I do now? So it doesn't look like there's anything there. There's a hole back here. Um, okay, so that door is not open. So she can't get in there. Okay, well I see some statues over here. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to move the statues? Okay, so there's nothing there. You guys are like seeing me just check over literally everything. Nothing there. Okay. Um, I check every single wall even if it doesn't look suspicious. But okay, so I can move this. So come and move this one. And it just like disappeared, but whatever. Um, I can't really do anything if it disappeared. Like, where did it go? Did I like mess something up with that? Okay, so that's a mirror. Um, I, I'm. Probably doing this right, but like it disappeared, so I don't know if I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna get her to meditate because I can get her to like teleport through meditation. So I'm gonna get her to do that. Um, it might take her a little bit, but she does eventually get there. So then I can go over and like teleport to that little hole over there in the wall because I don't know what else to do at this point. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for her to like levitate so that I can like teleport her. Because, like, that thing literally went missing. So, I am kind of at that point where I'm, like, stuck. Um, like, I'd have her go back in there. But I don't feel like that's the right thing I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I feel like I'm done with that room, you know? Okay, come and explore this, just in case. Um... Okay. Go through here. Although I'm probably not supposed to, but like I don't know what else to do. Okay, we're gonna have her just inspect every single one of these little hole things because I don't know what else to do at this point. Um, so there's a hidden switch in there to inspect this one. We're just gonna kind of rotate around in a circle. I'm hoping that one of these opens that door. But I don't know if that's going to work or not. Okay. 
Um, I am like stuck. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm at that point where I'm stuck. Um, cause it doesn't seem like any of these are doing anything. Go over here to this one maybe. Like the only thing that I'm seeing that these are doing is like activating traps. That's all I'm seeing. So can you do this one now? Okay. Well, I don't feel like that's doing anything. So I'm going to have her meditate again to the point that she like levitates because again, I'm stuck and don't know what to do. So I'm just going to kind of wait. Okay, so I got her to teleport or zen port or whatever it's called over here. So come and inspect this. Okay, so we got a relic out of that. And a hidden switch. Activated, okay. But I still can't get through that door. Well, now what do I do? It doesn't seem like I can move these statues. At least it doesn't seem like I can from clicking on them. So obviously that's not going to be the right thing to do. Okay. So I found a little thing up here in the wall. I don't know if this is anything to do with what I'm supposed to be doing. And I forgot that she's still stuck. But there is a little like inspect thing. Uh, can you go through this door? No. Oh, because I still have her stuck in that room. Okay, so I might be a little bit cheaty here and just like teleport her, like somewhere. Um, teleport here, because I don't feel like waiting around for her to like sit and meditate again to teleport. So I'm going to have her come back up here and inspect this, because I went past this the first time and didn't notice. So we'll do it now, and uh, see if this helps me out any, but I highly doubt that it's going to. That's my guess at least. Um, okay, there's a door, so it looks like there's some chests in here, so come and open both of these. But yeah, that's definitely not going to help me with that, so we'll just go ahead and take everything and do the same for this side. Take all, there we go. Okay, so we are back downstairs, and I finally got everything to move, they're not invisible anymore. So there's a little switch back here. Okay, so my guess is that I have to put a statue on each of these. That's my guess. So I'm going to come and pull this one over here far. Okay. But I feel like if I keep that one there that it's in the way. So that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so can you push... Okay, and then, um, can we pull it this way? And then push fuzz. Okay, so there's one in place. Um, I can't move that one. Okay, can I pull this one far? Keep going, honey. Keep going. Uh, one more time. Okay. So then can I pull this this way? And then pull this one this way. I think I finally figured this out. That's my guess, at least, is that I finally figured this out. And then we'll pull this this way. Okay, I think I got it. So now we have to come over to here to, it like seems to unlock this door. So we're gonna go through this door, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here, you guys. Um, I have been doing this for far too long and it's getting too late. 
but uh, we will save the rest of this for the next part and see what I can figure out. But uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys. Since I'm